Hello! I'm Coral. Welcome back to my channel. I have three sweaty dudes fixing the walls in my house. I've been drinking mimosas since like probably like 10 a.m. My dog's really upset about being in his crate right now. I don't know if I graduated to beer mimosas from mimosas or if I devolved but it's not champagne anymore, it's just beer and orange juice. And it's really not as good as champagne and orange juice. I ordered pizza from Pizza Hut like 10 minutes ago and it's on its way here already. I've gotta get into this. Anyways, I'm here today because I got my Nightworms package and I thought I'd do an unwrapping, unboxing. There's no box, it's just a package. I'm packaging. Here it is. Let's open it. Let's see what's inside. Can't remember what the theme was. That's okay. Oh! Hell yeah. Okay. I'm gonna save the one I'm most excited for, for last. Did I buy this? I hope I didn't. Anyway, um, I can't remember if I bought this book, like if I pre-ordered it or what. Or if it's like on its way from somewhere. I'll have to look. Um, not this one, but this is Merciless by Brian Smith. Psycho newlyweds Grant and Lindsay Weatherby are true crime junkies with a thirst to know what it feels like to kill for real. Young, prosperous, and good looking. <laughs> they are seen by friends and family as the perfect couple. No one sees the dark side to their love. After their wedding day, they embark on a trip across country. As their honeymoon gift to each other, they plan to abduct, torture, and kill a stranger. Sounds like, um, Carla and, what's his face? Paul? Holmoka? They were in Canada. I feel like it's not Paul. I don't know, anyway. But what was planned as a controlled one-time event soon explodes into a spiraling orgy of blood, nightmarish violence, and depravity. It is Paul. It was just Paul Bernardo and Carla Homoka. I'm sorry. I just couldn't, for some reason, like, um, get that out of my head. But that is Merciless by Brian Smith. I've been meaning to pick up some of Brian Smith's other stuff. I don't think I've ever seen this one before, but there are others that I've seen the cover for and have lusted after. And this one seems like a good, um, gory... Now my cat's meowing. No one can leave me alone tonight. Okay, this next one says, C.V. Hunt's Horrorama. So I was thinking C.V. Hunt, but underneath it says, Three novelettes by A.S. Coomer, Lucas Magnum, and Matt Harvey. So let's see what this says. Ready for the book version of a horror movie marathon? Horrorama brings you three tales reminiscent of those popcorn field all-nighters. So it says, first is Store All Self Storage by A.S. Coomer. Richard Dennison has landed a new job at a night security as a night security officer. His bosses are a bit strange, but not as bizarre as the renters who visit their units at night. And the only instructions he's given are to call the police. So then is Primitive by Lucas Magnum. This one says, old friends spend the weekend camping on Moon Mountain only to have their vacation interrupted when a disheveled woman appears from the woods. She tells them she is looking for her son, but the group find her story hard to believe. Will she find her son and will they all make it off the mountain alive? I'm sorry, I got interrupted by the pizza delivery. This last one in this collection is called The Vessel by Matt Harvey. A cult, Heralds of Celestial Ascendancy, is hell-bent on reviving their dark god, all they need is a body for their master to inhibit. When Elise Abington wakes in the middle of the night to find herself feeling strange, little does she know she's on a crash course. She's on a crash course with the cult and a deep programmer willing to do anything to stop the cult's cause. I have to say, all three of these sound like a perfect tiny movie. Like they sound like they do belong. 
in a horror movie anthology like VHS. But this is what I was most excited to see in here. This is Paradise Club by Tim Meyer. And if you've watched my channel for a little while, you might know that I really love horror that is set in summer months or in warm places, stuff like that. So this says, welcome to paradise, sandy beaches, crystalline waters, an all-inclusive resort with virtually everything you can think of, a true idyllic paradise. An event is taking place at Paradise Club that wasn't on the brochure. A dangerous game pitting the hotel's guests against a gang of bloodthirsty maniacs. Elliot Harper, a family man, an FBI agent, is about to find out how fast heaven can become hell when every single vacationer is forced to become a ruthless killer in order to survive. A team of killers have been unleashed and they won't stop until every single guest is dead. Oh my God, that sounds like so much fun. I can't wait to read this. But also I'm probably gonna save it till later this year. Next, I'll get to the goodie bag here. Okay, the um, theme for this month was cabin fever. I feel like I knew that. So of course there is the Inksmith cabin fever bookmark. Ooh. He always does the best bookmarks. There is a packet of hot chocolate, a cool, is that holographic? Is that what they call that? A cool, cool holographic, maybe, <laughs> Grindo Express sticker. Um, it looks like we have some book plates from Tim Meyer and Brian Smith that are here at least. Is that the only one? the only two it might be there is a little postcard cabin fever greetings from nightworms and grindhouse press and a little well this is technically also a postcard but this is like a little thing for keyport cthulhu 2 by armand rosemelia chuck buddha caitlin rosemelia it says the cosmic horror of keyport in an epic battle to call cthulhu um, I don't know if that's a book. I'm assuming. It also sounds like it could be a video game, but I'm assuming it's a book because I know Armand Rosemilia is an author and Nightworms does book things. That is the Cabin Fever package, January Nightworms. That's what we got. I'm actually uh, very excited about all three of these books, which doesn't always happen when I get book boxes. Um, of course, I'm very excited about this one, but don't tell the other books that that's the most exciting one. Not that the other ones aren't exciting. You know what I mean? Just like keep it on the DL. Um, anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I'm gonna go eat some pizza. Keep it real. Cabin fever. Don't get cabin fever, I suppose. It's hard not to right now though, I'll tell you what. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you got Nightworms this month and uh, if you're, what you think about the books that were included. Um, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.